the muscles of the back or forearm. There are a number of muscles. The superficial muscles are the brachioradialis, extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis, extensor digitorum with its four tendons, extensor digiti minimi, and extensor carpi ulnaris. There is another muscle on a deeper plane which is known as the anconius. All these muscles are supplied by the radial nerve or its terminal branch, deep branch which is known as the posterior interosseous nerve. Superficial, these are the superficial muscles. There are deep muscles. These deep muscles are the abductor pollicis, abductor pollicis longus, extensor pollicis brevis, exten, extensor pollicis longus, and the extensor indices. These are the deep muscles included in the deep muscle is a lying, is lying approximately situated muscle which is known as the supinator. Now these particular muscles, the extensor digitorum passes on the back of the hand and at the metacarpophalangeal joint, it is joined by the interossei and lumbricals and they come and form a digital expansion on the proximal phalanx. This digital expansion divides into this digital expansion divides into three parts. The middle part gets inserted into the base, into the base of the middle phalanx, and the two terminal parts get inserted into the base of the terminal phalanx. All these muscles of the back of forearm and including back of arm are supplied by the radial nerve. This is the ulnar nerve. It supplies flexor carpi ulnaris and medial half of flexor digitorum profundus. This flexor digitorum profundus partly is supplied by the anterior interosseous nerve and partly by the ulnar nerve. So this particular muscle is a composite muscle or an hybrid muscle.